What's up, YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys a brand new playthrough on the channel for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And guys, for this playthrough, we're going to be doing a 100% playthrough. So all pieces of hearts, all the collectibles, and everything in this game. So without further ado, let's get started. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koholan Island. Yeah, we made it to Koholan Island, everybody. Let's get started on this 100% playthrough. But first off, we have to go talk to this, like, fake Mario over here. Like, what is this? Look, he looks exactly like Mario. So we go over here. We can talk to him real quick. And he tells us his name is Taryn. He is actually Malin's father. And he's gonna give us our first shield. Look at it, yeah! It is the Hylian shield. It's just called the shield here, but it is an exact replica of the Hylian shield. It says hold R to actually use it. But can we check our like menu and all that? Look at this, yeah! Look at all the stuff we can collect. So this playthrough will be 100% playthrough. We gotta collect all the she seashells. There's 50 of them, I believe. And then we have to collect all the heart containers, which is 32, and all the collectibles and everything. So it's gonna be pretty nice. But look at this place. We're at May Village or Mabe Village. I don't know what to call it. But this game just looks beautiful. Oh my lord. They did such a good job on remastering it. Like, look at this. We got a little fox. But your movement is based on a grid. So you can see it's kind of a little choppy when you move. But that's just how it was on the Game Boy. So they kept it that way. You kind of move in blocks. Look, we even got a chain chop and all that. Look at my boy. But first order of business, we have to follow this path down and go get our first sword. It is on the beach over here, so we're just going to keep following this path all the way down this way. And look, we got some enemies. These are Octoroks and all that, but we can't really do much because all we have is a shield right now, so we can only shield. There we go. We have made it to, to Ronbo's shores right here. So we can just keep walking around and find this, this sword. But if you actually make your way over to these little, like, spiky dudes, you can actually use your shield and push them right out the way. Like, get out of my face, dude. What you want? They're so funny, but there we go. We can push two of these out the way and make our way to the shoreline right here where our sword will just be chilling. Hoot hoot! So you are, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. <laughs> so yes, this is our sword, as you can tell. And we have to wake up the windfish in order to save everything. You know, the whole deal with the Legend of Zelda. But we can now pick up the sword. And we can just swing it around. Like, I love the 2D Zelda games. Like, they're just so much fun. Like, there's not, like, much... Like, there's a lot to do in it. There's a lot of, like, things to do. But there's not, like, that much fighting skill needed. So you can just, like, spam attacks. I don't know. It's just so much fun. Look at that. We can just start whooping all these fools. We've got these Octorok, these spiky boys. And the music starts playing. I heard the soundtrack is phenomenal in this game. But, guys, we're going to get grooving along. The wise old owl told us to head over to the mysterious forest. So we can start waking up the windfish. But here we go. We can just keep making our way up here. But first order of business is we got a few other things to do before we head into the forest. You guys will see in a bit. But we got to collect some rupees and all that. You can collect a lot of rupees just by, like, hitting grass and all that. Which is pretty nice. Look at this. We can just chop it up. You can find hearts, rupees, and all that. We're going to make our way back up here. If you actually make your way into this building over here, this is something that you want to do right off the bat. You head into this building. This is the library. And there are a ton of books here. You actually want to go by reading these one by one. You don't even have to, like, actually read it. You just look you just look at it, and then it shows you things like this. Unlock this the map. So, there we go. Now we got the map. So, this, this book you do not get until you later in the game. That's like a late game kind of thing. And then you just read them all. And then that book up top. See that red book right there? You get that later when you get an item. You'll be able to run into the wall, knock it down, and all that. So, we're going to get reading all these books and get going. So, guys, now that we've moved out of the library, we can actually get cooking on this main mission over here. And first off, I'm going to go up to this grass. Look at this. We got my boy, the Chain Chomp. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, we got fake Mario in here. We got Chain Chomps. I believe there's, like, Goompas and Piranha Plants. But I actually want to come over here to this grass first and get a few rupees and all that. Because if you keep swinging in here, the middle one actually has our first seashell collectible. So there are 50 secret seashells in this whole game. We're going to be collecting them all. I actually do not know what they do. But you can actually chop up all this grass and everything and get yourself some rupees hidden inside of it real quick for later usage. How many do we have right now? I'm trying to get one so we can... There we go. We have 11. It's actually nice. We'll actually use this to get something later. But we're going to get moving back this way. 
towards Mr. Chain Chop over here. And let's go. Hey, buddy. Look at him. <laughs> I'm scared. If you hit the cuckoos, you probably they probably attack you. But we can actually make our way up towards this way. But before we go into the mysterious forest like the owl wanted, we can actually hop down into this well right here. And by doing so, we actually unlock our first heart beast. Yeah. So this game is nothing like Breath of the Wild. This is like an original Zelda game with dungeons and all that. We actually have pieces of heart. So every four pieces of heart that we collect, we get one in our top left corner. So four equals one heart, which is pretty nice. There we go. We can now make our way back out the well and back up here. And start chopping up some grass and everything. But the thing I did notice about this game and hear about this game also is when you go into new areas, you get that frame drop. Like, as you can tell, you've probably seen it a couple times. But we can head inside the mysterious forest and Mr. Owl will come back to us. Hoot, ho! Brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of... Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholan island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficulty to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you'll find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot. So the owl kind of just like leads you like throughout this whole game kind of. He's just going to tell us to go find the tail key and then head to the tail cave which will be our first dungeon. So that's what we got to do. And look at this. We got these little mob wind pig looking things. Look at this. We can get whopping on them. Wow, I hit the wrong button the sword and just walked right into them. But I'm surprised that guy didn't see us. Like look at this. What's up dog? Why aren't these guys seeing us? <laughs> What's up piggy? Oh, look. See he has a spear. We can just shield that. What's up? Oh, he stabbed us. What's up dog? What you want fool? Here we go. We can actually make our way over this way. And as you can see, there's like this raccoon right here. Just like, I don't know, doing his weird little dance. <laughs> but <laughs> he's pretty funny. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. So he tells us that. And then if we walk forward this way, he says, hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're going to be lost thanks to me. So if we go up that way, we actually get lost thanks to him. And nothing really works out for us. Oh, so in order for us to like find a path, we actually had to figure out that puzzle, which was... His nose is very sensitive to dust and powder. So if we actually make our way... Hold up, let me whoop on this fool. What's up, dog? What's up? What you want? Dude, I love the fighting mechanics in the game. But if we actually make our way over this way, we can actually whoop on this fool first. Bam, bam. We can actually make our way into this little trunk over here and get going with this mission. Look at this. We got bats and everything. Well, these are called keys. What's up, bats? We can actually destroy this crystal and all that. Destroy those bats. We actually have to make our way over the other side. So we got this cracked floor. <gasps> that keys really knocked me in there. But we got this cracked floor that if we don't run across across quickly, we'll actually fall into. Let me grab that. We can actually push that rock out the way and open up this chest for a nice solid 50 rupees. Rupees are actually going to be very valuable to us early on in the game as we can buy different items and play different mini games to get stuff. Look at these. We got these new enemies called the Chews. We can push these rocks and solve that puzzle. Actually, there is another heart piece. As you can see, it's right there. But we cannot get it until we can lift those skulls. Those skulls over there are unmovable until you get a certain power-up to be able to lift them up. But with that said, we're going to get moving along here. Shielding this guy. What's up? Wang. Wait for him to hit. Shield. We can actually grab this mysterious mushroom right here. Look at this thing. It is a toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. So we're actually going to need that to make a dust and powder for that raccoon in order to unlock the next part. So we grab that. Now we can head back through this little log right here. Pretty simple. Make our way back. But guys, dude, I'm such a fan of these 2D Zelda games for some reason. Did I mess up? No, we didn't mess up. <laughs> I thought we messed up. But just the 2D Zelda games are so much fun. Did we really mess up? Oh, you can only push the rocks once. Wow. I forgot about that. We can push this rock. We can push this rock. There we go. Now we can push this rock too. And now we can keep moving back to the space where we came. And the choose respawn all that. Like, what's up? Something about the fighting mechanics. I just love it. Oh! Oh, run! I was charging up my sword and I forgot about the crack stuff. No, we're heading this way. Now we can run here. Get out of here, Keys. What you want? Yeah! Alright, so we actually have to break this. We actually have to go all the way around the other side. What the heck, man? What's good, Keys? What you want? Yeah! Get out of here. Making it back through the log, we got this little pig dude again. Get ripped up, dude. Get ripped up. Now we can actually make our way up this way. What's up? He stabbed us. I thought I had our shield out. Oh, we actually have to be facing his way. Stab us. What's up? All right. You know what? I'm not dealing with you. Actually, now we got it. He's coming after us now. That's good. Yeah. Get out of my face. Now we got these red shoes over here. We can start 
<laughs> tanking them up. They split, actually. Ah! It got me! <laughs> that thing got me. Look at this thing! We got a piece of power. You can feel that energy flowing through you. So you can actually find these things and a, de and a defense one. Each of them will... This one brings up my attack by times two. And the other one brings up my defense by times two. But we can make it to the Koholent Prairie. And she... Oh! <laughs> As you can see, there's a heart piece just chilling over there that we cannot get yet. We got this little fire dragon down here, too. But if you actually grab that toadstool, that little mushroom you had, well, we got, we can actually make our way down over here to this little witch, and we can actually talk to her and everything. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool. It does. We'll mix it up into something in a jiffy, we will. So we hand over our toadstool, and she mixes up. Look at her go. Yes. <laughs> this is so funny. And she actually makes us a magic powder. So, if you do recall what the raccoon said, he said his nose is sensitive to powder, so we're gonna go back and give him some of this magic powder. But we actually have to obtain it, well, equip it, let's see, in our little thing. There we go, we equipped it with X, so now every time we hit X, we can actually throw out some magic powder, which is pretty cool. But look at our power up, we're glowing red. We can't hit those electric dudes because they're just gonna shock us back. And we cannot get that heart container until we obtain another power up. But, since we are all, like... Powered up. Well, not anymore. We we kill these pigs in one hit, but now it takes two. What's up? Go ahead, throw a spear at me. <laughs> What's up, Chews? We just had to chop them up real quick. Give me that rupee. No, I want the rupee. What's up, Chew? No! <laughs> the best is when a little one gets on you. I need these rupees. These rupees are very valuable right off the bat, like I was saying. But we can actually head back this way and go down to Mr. Raccoon. Where's he at? Where's Mr. Raccoon at? We're actually gonna chop all this up and wait for Mr. Raccoon to spawn. I forget how he spawns once again. I think maybe we have to head back this way. So guys, if you actually make your way back to the entrance right here of this little, like, wood hole right here, you can actually see the- this is the one with the fairy fountain that we entered. There's actually another tree that looks exactly like this one, where the raccoon was, which we have to actually head to that one to go find the raccoon. So we're actually just gonna make our way up here, which is covered by mob ones. We're gonna block his- oh, he didn't, he didn't even get us with the spear. What's up, dog? What you want? Get out of my face. So we actually make our way up here, and the raccoon is just chilling back here. So we just grab out our powder, we say, yeet, and huck that on him, and look at him. There's like a bunch of spin around stuff, like going crazy. Look at him. He's so funny. And look, he turns into Mario. <laughs> like, what is up with all these bootlegged Marios out here? It's actually Taron, it's the same Mario. He said, the last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toad, so then, then I had the darn, the darndest dream I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it was sure was fun. So it sounds like he was uh doing some drugs with some mushrooms. <laughs> but now that we did that, we can actually open up the path this way and grab this chest right here. And inside this chest is what the owl said to come look for. It is the tail key. Now we can go open the tail cave gate. So here comes Mr. Owl coming back. Look at our boy. He's such a cool looking character. Who take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that's hidden in there. Go now. The wind fish is waiting. Who? So, in order, like, the main objective of this game is to go to different dungeons and collect the instruments of different things to wake up the wind fish. So, in order to go back to the... Well, get back to the land and go to the tail cave. Actually, I want to look at my map real quick. Is this the map? Yeah, we just head straight back down here into town, and the tail cave is actually around here. So, we're going to have to go back to, what was it? Tabano Shores? Is that what it's called? I believe so. Ooh! Nice little rupee. But before we actually go there, we have a couple little side things we want to do. So, we're going to, like, make it back to Mabe Village. And make it down this way. Look at the butterflies. Yo, the artwork is so nice here. We got my boy, the Chain Chomp. What's up, buddy? How's your day going? <laughs> But we're actually gonna head and make our way down towards this way. And in this little house right here, we got a crane mini game, which is cool. It is literally, like I said, it is a crane mini game. So we pay 10 rupees to drop the crane and we can collect all these items. So we got shield, magic powder, a Yoshi doll, which starts the biggest quest in the game, a piece of heart, and yeah. rupees. So we're gonna go for that piece of heart. It's called the trendy game. The move buttons. The buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons and play, good luck. I actually don't know how to play, so what do we do? We play? So we go. How do we do this? Oh, X is move forward, A is move right, so we're gonna move forward. Oh, move right. Hopefully we get that. Did we get that? Come on. We're a little, we're a little ahead, hopefully it scoops it up. Snatch it. Oh, what? Did it get caught on something? Boo! We wasted 10 rupees for nothing, no! That's money. That is money. Give me that piece of heart, baby. This will actually be our second piece of heart. So two more, and we can actually make, get another heart container, making us up to four hearts. 
Yeah, give me that. This cream mini game's cool. We're actually gonna be back here a ton because, like I was saying, the when you grab the items and all that, new items actually come in here that we need. No, I didn't mean to hit play again, but since we're playing again, I guess we'll grab this Yoshi doll. Because this actually starts the biggest quest in the game. It is the trade quest. We have to trade this Yoshi doll someone, which gives us another thing. And then we trade that to someone else, gives us another thing. And it just keeps going and going. You better not drop. <gasps> you hunk of junk. What a hunk of junk. All right, we don't want you. We'll come back later for that. Now we don't want challenge again. Just give me a holler whenever you're in the mood to strike to play. Okay, it's all good. Now we can go over here and claim our reward, which is this heart container. What a rare find. Yeah, baby, let's go. So now with that done, we're actually going to start making our way to Tail Cave with our Tail Key. So in order to get there, we're, we have to make our way all the way over here. And back down to Tenobo Shores. Is that what's called? Tenobo Shores, I believe. And then we can start making our way because the cave is down on the shore. But look at our kids playing catch and all that. Look how cool they are. Look at us. But we're just a kid who with a sword and a shield. And look. Now we got some sick music playing. We got Octorox and all that. Let's look, look at the map real quick. Do I have to actually head on the beach? Yeah, I believe we have to head on the beach over this way, so. No, we don't. There's the tail cave. Look, you can see it right here. I love the map, so we're actually going to head up this way. The map looks so cool in this game. Let's go, baby, to the tail cave. Let's get it. Dude, Octorox, everything about this game. <gasps> Dude, he sniped me. But like I was saying, everything about this game is just so, like, cool. The artwork, the enemies, how they're designed and all that. It's just so cool. What's up, Octorok? <laughs> Get out of my face. But over here, we have the tail cave. And since we have the key, we can actually just, like, plop it right in here and open up this first dungeon for us. And look at the little tails. I think they're called tails. <laughs> they look like giant caterpillars with heads. But now we open this up and we can actually get going inside of there. But guys, we're actually going to be entering the tail cave in the next episode. So if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be starting our first dungeon and moving along with this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.